that we just used, those are just words. So how do we apply that to our lives? Do you have a question or do you want to add something? Uh, just, um, what, 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 That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you have something you want to add to that? Yeah, um, but like, well, God put other before him, but he also, like, he, he um, took time alone to pray to God many times, but mm -hmm. some, but most of the times he um, served other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we serve other people? Do we know how we serve other people? That's right. He did. he did, and with that courage, we have that courage. So when we do see someone being bullied or someone being mistreated, that courage tells us that we can go up and say, "Hey, maybe we should we shouldn't do that, right?" That's what that courage gives us. Not right? evil. No, no not no. in Well, what, what do we do? What is the what is the one word that we have? The love. We have the love. So the love, we go, but the courage gives us the momentum to go do it, right? But not like yelling, you know, like, yeah. Right, right. in love, right? Everything we do, because that's what Jesus demonstrated to us is love, right? That's right. Okay, all right. So you guys want to go to the next scripture? Okay, so we got um, John, 1 John 4 and 18. Who wants to be my reader? Okay, we did you first, so let's get ready to do it. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment, the, the one who fears is not made perfect in him. Okay. Love. So we talked a lot about that word fear, right? Oh, a bunch. A bunch. We yeah. talked a lot. Oh, we got a lot of hands. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Everybody's going to get a chance on this one. Okay, go ahead. Go. Start with Daniel. Start with okay. So fear is, fear is very small, but when, but it, but it might but it can also be very loud. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Fear can and stop stop you from 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 doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. And fear tells you that you're not perfect. Mm -hmm. you're not very good. Mm -hmm. Fear tells you that you're dumb. Mm -hmm. Very good. And God gave us a word to counteract that fear. And what is that word? There's another word I'm looking for. Okay. Because it's right there. You see what it says? There is no fear in love. So when we love, it says, but perfect love drives out fear. So when we have love, it drives out that fear, silences that fear. So when we have love and we hear that fear, what does love tell you to do? Anyone? Like, okay. Go ahead. Like, if, if it says somebody's going to be mean to you if you try to talk to them, mm -hmm. well, if fear drives it out, when fear drives it out, 
I mean, when love dries it out, then um, you want to talk to that person mm -hmm. else. Regardless of the feel, right? I think you had something to share. That's good. Yeah. Right. But what we learned a word last week, and it's called stagnation. Who can remember what stagnation means? Card of the book. Okay, like something, like, does it mean that something doesn't move forward or something? Remember, you say stuck. Oh, yeah, you don't, you don't ever move. Right. So if you fear, what does that do? That makes you stagnated, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Stops you from living your life. Exactly. It yes. steals your step of faith. Yes, it steals your step of faith. Okay. Anybody else? Do you have something else? Right. So when we listen to fear, we stay stuck in life, right? Remember, we said that it's like being in quicksand. We can't move, right? Mm. But then it comes something that calls, God gave us this as love, and love tells us we don't listen to fear, right? Remember the illustration? Who can tell me the illustration that we have on the board back there? Um, it's like here, but it's so tiny. It's like how I usually write at school. And nobody can see my writing. That's how tiny That's it is. That's how tiny it is. And then she like drew around it. And, and what do we do? Scribbled it. Yeah, we scribbled it, yes. And you just you put a circle and then you color it in so you can see through it. And then the Latin is over there. Right. Like mm. if you're in the face of the Holy Bible. Yeah. What? <laughs> Little lines because it's so loud, mm -hmm. but it's very small. Very good. Okay, so, but what do we do with those lines though? Because remember, the lines illustrate like how loud and how voicery it is. But what do we do with those lines? Come on, then we erase the lines. There we go. There we go. And it calls us to what to move forward, right? To it's move forward, it takes the step. exactly. Exactly. So we never listen to fear because fear will always be with us throughout our lives, right? As we grow older, fear will always be with us. And we have my assistant here that actually gave an illustration for our young people. And I wonder if she would be willing to share with the congregation um, what she helped the little kids do. She gave them a live illustration that as we were talking about fear, um, she actually some, has something that she shared with them. And it's so perfect to where they can relate. And then I told them one day they will be in her shoes. You know, because as they grow older, and then they can remember what she gave them to remember. You have to move past fear. Mm -hmm. So, so um, my uh, example was that. Um, so one time, my Spanish teacher told me that I should do like. One day, my Spanish teacher had told me that I should do cheer, like cheering, and I didn't feel that I was. Like, like I was a like, you know, I can't like yes. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And um, and then um I can't like I can't hang with the program and she and then she then ended up like talking to me about it. And um and then I told her that I that I would that I would like to try it because mm. she she told me about like being like not allowing fear to cripple you. you know, yeah. Even if you take a step in life and that's you right. fall, yeah. and that's for all of us. Yes. We all have to take Preach. chances in life, and they seem scary to us. You mm -hmm. know? And fear tells us we can't do it. You know, Fear tells us we're not good enough. Fear tells us that we don't fit in with certain groups. Fear tells us that you don't have the right clothes. You don't wear the right hairstyle. You're not that's the right. right color. You're not the right size. So don't Go and don't try. Don't try to excel. Try not to, to, to take that test. Yeah. So whatever it is, fear mm -hmm. tells us, no, don't do it. And so then what happens is we become stagnated in life, and we never can get to the greatness that God has for us because we allow, what is our enemy name, the adversary that I tell you? We have an adversary. Well, you had your hand up first. Go ahead. Satan. What's his name? Satan. And, and, and what's another name for him? The devil. Okay. So you have to know him for his name. You know, and that's what fear is. Fear is Satan whispering in our ears, telling us we can't, don't. Mm. Yeah. And he gives us the reasons why. And his reasons may seem validated, 
but it's not what God tells us, right? That's right. God, God laid the foundation to the things that we should listen to, and anything that is contrary to what God is saying, we know that it's our adversary. Right. Yeah. Mm. So if we hear, if we feel fear, we know that's not of God because God says, "What does God say? There is no fear in love." And what else? Perfect, perfect love drives out fear. fear. So that's God's word, right? So that means if I don't, if I don't listen to God, then I'm what listening to who? Satan. Right. Right. And then mm. that means I'll never live to my purpose or my destiny, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Fear ruined it. I'm sorry. Because fear. Maybe stagnated. Stagnated. There you go. That's our new word. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we're ready for the next slide. Okay. So, this one is Psalm 56. Uh, who wants to read it? Okay. Did you read one? Did you read one? Okay. Isaac. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Okay. And when they say in you, who are they talking to? So when I'm afraid, because we do get afraid, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about some of the things that make us afraid. And who wants to share some of their, what you're afraid of? Go ahead. Um, in my house, I'm scared of like the floor because it creaks and I feel like somebody's coming to my room. Right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Are you going to talk about the garage again? Uh -oh. I've, I've been scared of the garage for so long because it's so dark in there. I've been thinking that somebody's going to pop out, and I asked Miss Yvette, could you get a convertible home without a basement or a garage? <laughs> we said, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Thank goodness. Yeah. And who else has fears? I won't be traumatized. Who else has fears? Go ahead. Because we all have them. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I used to be like, I'm like afraid of why not. So I'm still afraid of planes, you know, and it so happened that we were talking about this. I somehow, recently I've been going on planes, and I'm like, oh my gosh. But once again, we're always going to have that fear, we're always going to be afraid, but we have to what? Push past it. Push, drive, right? Drive, drive and then it up. that means that we're what? Putting our trust in God, because I'm like, man, if I get on this plane, this plane's going to go down, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be a good thing, you know. But then I have to say, okay, God, my trust is in you. Yes. Well, I have to go in the garage. Yes, we told you about that last week. You gotta do some fear. You gotta cut the garage off the house or something. Nah, you can build a house without a garage, but first we gotta conquer that fear. Okay, okay. Anything else on this one? Trust in God. Yes. Yes. This morning I found on a um, brown reckless spider when I was taking a shower. And those spiders are poisonous, which I saw one also when I was at my field trip at school, and I was right next to it, of course me. And um, and it was right next to me, and it was about to bite something, so I was like, okay, I better move over a little. Move over, move over, but you, move to my teacher. But you were able to accomplish what you needed to do, right? Yeah, you didn't, I let, right it, you didn't let it make you like, run away and be fearful. I was still next to it, but I was at least next to my teacher. And uh, we talked about this one too, we talked about that um, when I'm afraid and put my trust in God. You know, what does that mean to you? What does that mean, putting your trust in God? What does that mean? Okay, I had one hand here and then the other one here. Well, everybody will answer. Okay. Well, if I see another one, try to pet it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Definitely not. No. Just just know that God will give you what you need to move so away and it won't bother you. Okay. okay. So put your trust in that. Courage stays when you are about to do. Right. What fear cares you not to do? And then you trust God and you're able to move forward. That's real good. good. That's how it all ties in. Did you have something you want to say, Isaac? Yeah. Okay. Ready? So when I hear the creaks again, I'll know that God is next to me while I sleep. Mm -hmm. And not to fear, right? Right. Okay, very good. Okay. So we can go to I think we have one more one more slide. Okay. So this one comes from Psalms 139 and 14. Uh, you already read, so yeah, yeah. I praise you because I am fearful and wonderful. You work your works are wonderful. I know that that full well. Okay, so 
this is going to like sum up everything that we've been talking about. And when it says, I praise you because I am fearfully. So what does fearfully mean? Yes. I'm sorry? Okay. Who else wants to add to this? Huh? I wanted to do one. Okay, do you want to? Okay, go ahead. You can choose whatever you want to do. Um, so which one do you want to do? Wonderful, wonderfully? Okay. What does that mean to you? Like your nice way. Yes, you're made complete. There you go. Very good. Yes. You're all just complete. Amen. Amen. That's it. That's it. So when it says that we're fearfully, that means that we should fear nothing. Right? Because he has already given us everything that we need. And we're all unique. We all look different. But we're all complete. As we are. Right? And so if someone comes up to you and says, well, I don't like you because of your hair. What does that mean? Does that mean anything to you? No, because you're still complete, right? Yeah. If someone says, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't like those hands you have on. Does that mean anything to you? Because you're already complete. God tells right. us that we're complete and we're wonderful. Those are the things that He says That's about right. us. And so anyone that doesn't like that or you know can't see that, then they're not seen by God. Remember, we always stand on God's word. If it is not what God says, then That's that right. person wasn't sent from God. Yes. Um, well, I was being bullied at my school, and I had because I have this scar from mm -hmm. when I was a baby because I got surgery, mm -hmm. and people were telling me, "Where's that scar from?" And I was walking home. I my dad picked me up from school, and I told him what was happening, and he told and he told me, "Well, tell them. Well, if they say it again, tell them what's that scar on your face." <laughs> He always tells me to fight back, but I'm an innocent child, so wow. I don't ever do it. Good job, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you do in love? There it is. is. Yeah, you wow. do love. What does yeah. mommy say? Mommy says opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. Daddy okay. says, punch them in the face when they punch you, and mommy says, be kind to them. Never. Yeah. Right? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay. Pray I've for me. I've always chose my Pray mom's option. I've always chose her option. Yeah, she think, gets me. My dad's very violent I, I, when it comes to that. I think mom's that. option is a little bit more toward what God says. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. That's very so violent. anybody want to add anything okay. to this? You have anything else you want to add to this scripture? We're good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that'll just give you a little synopsis of what we do in our little same thing back right there. Um, we talk about God's word. We, we, we help it. We, I help them to apply it to their everyday life, you know, and as they grow, because these are some of the, you know, foundations that they're going to need as they grow. You know, they need to have that connection to God now and let it continue on for the rest of their lives. And hopefully it'll impact their friends as they're growing older. You know, God needs beacons of light, you know, to share who he is to the world. And it starts with the children. Yeah. 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 Yeah.